Well, last month we started looking into crime reports from McKinley High School in the days following that shooting and stabbing outside of the building. And while we were able to dig up some information at that time, it took filing a Freedom of Information request to find out even more. Tonya Sides Kelly Desick brings us some new information tonight that highlights what she was able to find out in this story you'll see only here on Channel 2. About two weeks after the shooting and stabbing outside of McKinley High School, I started researching crime reports. Staff members told Two on Your Side problems have been happening at the high school for a while, so I wanted to know how many times police have been called out to McKinley in recent years. Buffalo's online database revealed that from 2006 through February 22nd of this year, 155 crimes were reported to Buffalo police on the 1500 block of Elmwood Avenue. That database doesn't show specific addresses, so there was no way of knowing whether police responded to the high school or just nearby. Last month, I filed a Freedom of Information request with the city to get police reports involving 1500 Elmwood Avenue from the last three school years. I got them Tuesday, 14 pages of police reports with some personal information redacted, but enough to paint a picture of what's happening. Going back to the fall of 2019 to the middle of last month, there are 13 police reports, two for the same incident where a teacher didn't want to press charges. Police responded to the high school during the 2019-2020 school year four times before the pandemic sent students home, including on December 10th when a student punched a staff member in the face. That student was suspended. For the following school year, the only crime reported was a laptop stolen out of a locker, and that police report wasn't filed until last month. Since the return of in-person learning last fall, besides more stolen laptops, police were called out to McKinley three times. In September, a teacher told police a student grabbed her arm and bruised it and threatened to hit her with his shoe. Then in January, a staff member tried breaking up a fight between girls when one of them hit and kicked her. The staff member hurt her back, neck and hand and the student was suspended. One of the girls also bit an adult after the fight was broken up. He went to Kenmore Mercy. And the week before the shooting, police arrested two people and charged them with assault and criminal mischief. We don't know their ages because they're crossed out. They're accused of fighting with the victim in the hallway and breaking her necklace. Police say this fight happened following a Snapchat video and back and forth messaging. The Freedom of Information request results did not include the police reports for the shooting and stabbing in the McKinley High School parking lot last month. In Buffalo, Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.